Okay, hello there everybody. Today we're going to do a uh, shootout of sorts with the Sarek Sacramento base. As you can see, I've got two fine examples here. Uh, it's not really a fair shootout of any particular element in particular because there are so many differences between these two instruments as we will go through. But I just thought I'd uh, kind of show you all out there the different options that you have uh, for this fine little bass. So first of all, we've got two short scale Sacramentos here and I'll start with this one. This is a solid body Sacramento. It's made with mahogany as you can see, a real fine example of mahogany there on the back. It's got a bubinga fingerboard and something a little different, a roasted ash cap on top. I don't know if it really comes through that great in the video, but the grain on this is just really cool. There's some really good flame and depth to it. Uh, natural oil finish here. I've got some single cream binding along the front edge. Um, two guild Bisonic reissue pickups here. Uh, master volume and tone, three-way toggle switch, hip shot hardware, Dunlop strap locks, and this one is strung up with DR high beam round wounds right now. Uh, so without further ado, let's just hear how it sounds. I'm running it through this old 69 Ampeg flatback 810, uh, my Galleon Kruger MB Fusion 800 head, and we've got a mixture of a mic and DI signal here. So here it is with fingers on the bridge pickup. Both pickups in parallel. And the neck pickup. Nice, meaty, real round, boomy sound out of that neck pickup. Uh, let's do a little bit of playing with a pick. Go back to the bridge pickup. Both pickups. neck pickup. Okay, so here's another Sacramento, also short scale, 30 and a half inches. This one's a little bit different. It's got a chambered body, so uh, a little bit lighter, although this one is completely made of maple with a really nice bird's eye maple cap. So this one also comes in just over seven pounds. Again, a Bubinga fingerboard, same pickups, the Guild by Sonic Reissues. Something a little different I wanted to point out. On this base, I've got the bridge pickup reversed. It's turned around so the pole pieces are actually a little bit closer to the bridge. That's something that you can do with these pickups. I've got them routed in such a way that you can flip the pickups. So you don't get a huge difference in tone, but you do get about a half to three quarters of an inch of uh, different spacings of the pole pieces there, which is you know nice if you want to try up a little different sound options. Uh, bone nut here, again hip shot hardware, all that good stuff. This one is strung up with Dunlop flat wound bass strings. They've got some really cool, really great sounding bass strings. Uh, they come right out of the box with a real nice broken in feel. And this one is also wired up with the new Dunlop Super Pots really like these pots. They, uh, they sound great and they're super easy to wire up. So let's just kind of run through the, the same test here. Here's the bridge pickup finger style.
both pickups. And the neck pickup. Again, a little pick style playing, back to the bridge pickup. Both pickups. Really awesome thump with the pick in these flat wounds. Here's the neck pickup. So as you can see, two very cool but very different instruments. Uh, if you want to see what other options are available, please visit sericbasses.com or follow me on Instagram. I also have a reverb shop where I'm always listing uh, available instruments. The uh, Again, this is the Seric Sacramento bass. These start out at about $1,900 and on up from there with the different options. Thanks again. Thank mm -hmm. you.